time to move on. Just before I let you both move on, um, just update us on what we're hearing about a, a large, a very large uh, protest convoy that is going to be moving into Victoria by, by the sounds of it for quite some time. Keith? Well, we'll see. I've talked to uh, Minister Farnworth about this, Premier Horgan about this. There is concern about this, no question, but there is also hope that today's announcement sort of takes the air out of the balloon. Uh, the concern is, though, that this is not a protest necessarily about vaccines or anything. This is a giant political protest that touches on all sorts of issues. It'll be interesting to see whether there's any preemptive court action taken here. I note, it was reminding me yesterday, on the door and on the windows, or right around the legislature, remain the copies of the injunction that was granted here preventing, uh, uh, barring uh, anyone from blocking access to this building. I've talked to one lawyer and former politician who points out that could be interpreted as not allowing people to block entrance into the BC legislature from the road, which means the truck convoy uh, might be challenged on that basis. But there's a bit of nervousness about this, no question, but there's also the hope that today's announcement stands this group down and they're not going to go to all the trouble of getting on a BC ferry and coming over here. Uh, yeah, especially when you think, what will they actually be protesting now. Um, all right. Yeah. Thanks very much, both of you. Brilliant to talk to you as always.